hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is adeze and i'm a mommy youtuber based in port harcourt nigeria i'm married and i have two lovely daughters cora and ava okay so you guys in today's video today's video is actually a collaboration with my very good friend nello okeke here on youtube you guys should go and check her out like you guys seriously if you're not following nello okeke on youtube like who are you following she's one of the realest youtubers that bring realness to this platform okay so you guys should go and check her out and check out um her own version of this video so yeah as much as we're very very close um we are very different in so many ways so you guys should definitely go and check out her video i'm sure she's going to be bringing a different perspective to this topic okay and the topic is is love important in marriage like how important is love to the success of a marriage and what made us um think about making this video was because we saw this um we like what is a tweet was it a tweet or a write-up i think it was a tweet yeah it's a tweet and the person said it has been going it, the tweet has been going around for a while and the person said do you know why there is so much pain and bitterness in marriage today in marriages today it's because 90 percent of women don't marry who they love they marry who is ready okay and yeah there's been mixed reactions to these tweets but most people are in favor of the tweet while a lot of people don't agree with the tweet as well so um me and nello normally we always <laughs> share things like this on instagram or whatsapp and just share our thoughts and discuss it with each other but while we're discussing we we're like in fact she first said while I was typing, I'm going to make a video. She too, she typed, she's going to make a video about it. So I was like, yeah, you know, we then said, okay, it's going to be perfect. Let's let's both make videos and say our opinions about this tweet. So you guys, like I said, go and check her out. I'm going to leave her name on the screen and in the description box. And if she comments on this video, I'm going to pin her comment so that, you know, you'll find her. Anyway, so if you'd like to know my thoughts about this topic, then keep on watching. So first things first, do I agree or disagree with this claim? You guys, I totally, totally disagree with this claim, okay? And it's not for reasons that you might be thinking, okay? The reason why I disagree with this claim is that, number one, it's saying 90%. Really? First of all, where did you get your statistics from? What were the measures put in place to, you know, ensure the accuracy of your, your findings? You know, we and I know that this thing is, there's no scientific or socialistic, I don't even know the English to use. This thing is just somebody I sat at one place and just felt, hmm, you know what? I think this is how things are, maybe based on the person's own personal experience. And that will make person say these things, okay? I don't agree with it, first of all, on those grounds. And then second of all, if 90% of women marry who is ready, trust me, more marriages will be more successful than they are today, okay? Yes, it's not the opposite. If women marry people who are ready, they will have more successful marriages than we have right now, okay? Yes, I said what I said and I meant what I said, okay? And the reason why I say this is this, love does not sustain a marriage. Love is not what keeps a marriage, okay? And a lot of people, a lot of women are marrying people that they love instead of people that are ready for marriage. See, marriage is a lot of work, okay? Marriage is not just what you guys see on social media. It's not the wedding. It's not the pictures. It's not the... See, real marriage is the behind the scenes. The part is the 90% or in fact, it's the 95% of things that happen that we do not show you guys. That's what marriage is. Marriage is deeper way way deeper than that in fact i don't want to go too deep into this topic if not i will talk for hours like hours and hours and hours i'll just be here talking because it's something i'm actually very passionate about if you guys don't know i am very much pro marriage okay i'm very much pro marriage anytime i say anything online that's the same things about my women it's my marriage women that i'm always there to go and say hey what are you saying shut up <laughs> Okay, I don't agree with many of those things because at the end of the day, it's not the norm. It's not what happens in everybody's marriages. It's just a few cases that are very loud. Okay, the peaceful, quiet, happy marriages are not as loud as the few notorious, terrible cases. That's why many people feel like marriage is such a, a bad thing. It is not a bad thing. Marriage is actually one of the sweetest. It has, it, is a, it is an institution that was instituted by God. Okay, God Himself is the author and finisher of marriage. If God 
deem marriage important enough to make happen okay then just know that marriage is something that is important and very sweet now that does not mean that if you are not married your own is finished okay there are different parts in life some people get married some people might get married later in life some people should not actually get married it's not their parts so if they actually go and get married to work against them while some people you know are just unfortunate in marriage about being ready for marriage see being ready for marriage is not about oh he asked me so he's ready no in fact asking you to marry him is the last stage of readiness to marry marriage requires a lot of discipline a lot of responsibility so if a guy is coming to ask you to marry but you can see that this guy is not disciplined enough to be married or to stay faithful doesn't take responsibility enough to be married my sister please run for your life even if you love him okay even if you love him please run for your life you need someone who is ready to take charge as the man of the house okay you know how does he act how does he behave while you guys are dating does he behave like a husband some of you are dating baby boys he's a baby boy he's a see you are dating baby boys in the real sense of the word you are dating a tata you expect a tata to marry you and take responsibility in that marriage no now you've already failed from the beginning so i actually made a video how i got myself a good man that video is going to come after this one I actually i've already filmed it already but this one just came up i'm excited to film it film this one immediately so that video how to get yourself a good man is going to come after this video so you guys stay tuned for that one okay like i really spill some tea in that video okay well it's things that works for me oh might not work for you but things that work for me what i said in that video so anyway back to the topic so how does this man behave how does he act to me right now even before we marry how does he um treat me in front of his friends how does he treat me in front of his relatives ask yourself this is not about love and i keep saying it's not about love because i feel that we human beings give ourselves way too much credit okay you know <laughs> as human beings we feel like see even god said it that the heart of man is desperately wicked okay without god trust me your love is fickle your love that human natural human love is very very fickle why is it fickle is because it is based on feelings and feelings change so if you're kind of person that says things like if you marry for love you're going to have a happy marriage trust me you are wrong okay human beings are not capable of loving themselves into a successful marriage i'm sorry that is just the truth we are not capable we don't have that capability to love another human being so much that you know the, you will not be selfish because one of the requirements for having a successful marriage is selflessness you have to be selfless and human love is not capable of such selflessness it might be capable of it in the short run but in the long run of which marriage is a long run is a, is a lifetime thing it is not capable of sustaining you that is just the truth the kind of love that is capable of sustaining you throughout your marriage is God's love, agape love, the one from God. And how do you get that love? It's by asking God every day of your life to help you to stay married to this human being. Okay? Even your child that you give birth to, there are days that you're just like, I'm done with this child. Your own child that came out of you. I'm done with this child. Don't talk about another man that you met after how many years of your life. Like, like who? Don't talk about another woman that you just brought into your life just recently okay so at the end of the day back to my point human love is not enough to sustain a successful marriage ask yourself you that are watching this video now how many men if you're a woman how many men have you thought that oh this is this is it like this man is my all in all like i love it i love even the air that he brings like i love every freaking thing about this guy how many men have you felt like that about? How many of them do you even like as much this, at, at this moment? How many of them do you even, can you even stand? Like if you see them, can you even stand them at this moment? So let's just tell you that love is actually fickle. Love is not, human love, as I said, human love is actually not strong enough to sustain you because no matter how much you think you love your husband, if he is not right for you, if he's not irresponsible enough, if he's not capable of taking care of you and your family, that love will pack one side. You are going to hate him, okay? You are going to hate him. It's not about um, how you feel. Because some days you wake up and you don't even want to see, you don't, just, you don't want to see your partner. Like, you don't want to see your partner. That is just the truth. Anybody that tells you that every day of their life, they love their husband or they love their wife with all their heart, they are lying. That on mornings that you wake up and you're like, oh my God, what am I doing with this guy? What am I doing with this woman? It, but what keeps you going is the commitment. 
okay what you should strive for i'm not now like i said i'm not saying that you should not go and marry someone that you're not even attracted to or you don't even like just for the sake of uh, because he's responsible no you should have that basic attraction physical mental emotional attraction to the person it's, it's, it's important too you should have it okay you should like the person that you're marrying at least like me i like my husband like i keep saying i like who i married like if if all his qualities were put in a different body, I would still marry that same different body. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, like who you marry, okay? But you also have to marry with your sense. Yeah, I have a video that I titled Married with Sense. You have to marry with your sense. Don't be going by love. Oh, I, 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 he's my only all. And then you're not going to enter the wrong thing, the wrong uh, relationship, okay? Look out for important qualities that you know that this is who the person is. He's not faking it. There are people that you just you know a good person when you meet a good person. You don't need any uh, soothsayer to come and tell you that this person is a good person. The people that when you meet, is the is the little things that they say, is the way they act in certain situations that will tell you that okay, this person is actually a good person. You know, he might not be perfect. He might not be everything you want. He might not check all the boxes that you've created for yourself. But if you know that this person is a good person and you are attracted to the person physically and you actually like the person, then go ahead and marry the person, okay? Stop waiting for that sweep you off your feet, butterflies in your tummy feeling. The person that you have such feelings for might not be right for you, okay? Your, your boyfriend might not be your husband, that's just the truth. <laughs> so you better leave your boyfriend so that you can find your husband, okay? It's in this internet world that everybody is now trying to you know emphasize love people are talking about oh uh, they are following a way of doing things if their way of doing things were so perfect why is it that their divorce rates are very high i keep asking these questions they are showing you romance movies they are churning out romance books romance content romance this instagram you go on instagram and see you know they are churning out all these things to make you think that those things are the most important they're not the most important in the days of abraham and co in the olden days, I mean, how were they getting married? How did uh, Isaac find a wife? Didn't they send somebody to go and look for a woman for him? Did he find his wife by himself? So at the end, and he married her. The day he met her was the day he married her. You know, and they stayed married and had kids. Okay, how are people marrying themselves in the olden days? Even some of our parents, they, they got married through matchmaking and some of them are happy today. I didn't say all, but I'm saying some of them are genuinely happy today. I'm not saying that their marriage was perfect all through. They had hurdles that they passed. And see, let me tell you guys something here. Eh? If we really go back to the Bible recommendation of how things should be done in a marriage, most marriages will be successful. But no, we don't want to follow the way God, the person that created marriage, we don't want to follow the way he said we should do it. We want to invent our own ways and then follow our own ways. And then when those ways lead to destruction, lead to divorce, lead to death, lead to, you know, sadness and heartbreak, we now want to generalize and say marriage is, is bad, marriage is terrible. It's not marriage that's terrible, it is your own version of marriage that is terrible. It is your own version that you decided to go through, go through with, with your own understanding. You leaned on your own understanding. And at the end of the day, it, it backfired on you. But now you want to make it look as if all men are scum, all women are trash. That's what they're trying to do. We, meanwhile, you are the one that's at fault. You do not use your head. <laughs> You know, so I highly suggest you guys to go and watch that video where I said my sense. You understand some of the things I'm saying now because I actually said them in that video. You know, so at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, if I'm going to be doing this for the long run, I need sustainable characteristics that can, you know, take me through. Sustainable characteristics. How responsible is the guy? Look at where the Bible said, um, wives submit yourselves to your husband and then husbands love your wives now let me point out something he didn't say husbands go and look for women that you love and marry or husbands there was no assumption that husbands already love their wives so if love is a requirement for you to get married then it shouldn't be advising you separately that you should go and love your wife do you get what i'm trying to say so i'm trying to say that i'm not saying that you should not go and marry someone that you don't like like i said look yes of course there's an attraction there's a compatibility that exists between you guys before you guys even consider to consider marriage in the first place but the bible still goes ahead to to admonish men that they should love their wives why is it telling men specifically love your wife love the person you've already married you're already married to her she's your wife of course so why is it telling men specifically that they should love their wife their wives it's because women need love it's even specified in that scripture that husbands should love their wives the way christ loved the church and gave himself for the church that's because when i'm reading that scripture i'm like i'm like correct <laughs> Because most people used to forget that part, they only remember the submit yourself part. He said, The way Christ came on earth, 
lived the life of a human being and died on the cross that is the same way you should sacrifice your life for your wife i'm not saying that you should go and get killed like me and and cool i'm just saying that you have to drop selfishness completely and you have to take your wife as your as part of you i mean she was brought out of you your rib she's your missing rib okay she was brought out of you so she's a part of you she's your body the same way we say the body of christ that is the same way your wife is your body so you should love her unconditionally and it's something that you have to work towards it doesn't just drop on your laps magically because you now have a ring or because you now went to church with her then you now love her magically it doesn't work that way it's something that you strive for it's something that you pray for it's something that you work at every single day that you remain married to that woman and the same way it tells it tells wives submit yourselves to your husband see when people talk about the submission thing and people talk about it like it's a bad thing i'm just like is this how you put people don't understand the scriptures when it says submit yourself to your husband it does not mean that you should become your husband your husband's slave okay it doesn't mean that you're a slave i mean look at this part that he told men to actually literally literally sacrifice themselves for you you can so i mean if, if someone was a slave would you sacrifice yourself for a slave it's not it doesn't work that way so when it says submit yourself to your husband it's about submitting to his authority so that things can work out in the marriage you cannot have two captains on a ship one wants to go this way one the other one wants to go that way no it make decisions together but ultimately the decision of how to steer the family rests on the shoulder shoulders of the husband and god made it that way for the sake of um order for the sake of order i don't see why it is such a terrible thing to women to submit themselves to their husbands so if your husband actually tries to love you the way christ loves the church submitting to him will not even be so difficult you won't be there racking your brain she does something or not the problem the reason why submission is very hard for some women or for a lot of women is because they marry the wrong person so you went and went you went to marry one Okonu. <laughs> Someone that, that, you, that you know that person does not have sense. You married a senseless person, and then now you're now seeing that oh, so I'm required to, to now to now submit to this person that does not even have sense. That is why it's hard to submit. But if you marry someone who is very smart, who is very intelligent, who is very God fearing, very loving, very you know responsible, submitting to him will not be. In fact, to me, like I keep saying, women have it easier, but we don't know when it comes to relationship and how God put things. We don't know that we have it easier. Okay, they didn't ask you to go and die for your husband though, like Christ died for the church. They didn't ask you. It's, it's even the man that they asked. Okay, so that is why I don't have a problem with submitting to my husband because I like the person I married. I married someone whose vision and my vision align. So it is not even difficult for me to submit to his authority because I know that his authority makes sense. But some people, you go and marry someone that does not have sense just because, oh, he came to, he, he asked you to marry him because he, he, he's nice, he says the nice things. Then you're not going to marry someone that you know that he's not good for you because you, you, you've dated him for so long so you will not end up marrying him and then when they now say she submits you will not come up with time and be shouting eh, 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 I'm a feminist, I'm a feminist no, at the end of the day if you follow things the way God said you should follow them you will not have so many issues in your marriage that's all the truth so yeah, back to our main topic okay for me, according to me what I feel in my own opinion Love does not guarantee a successful marriage, okay? If you both love yourselves before you get married, fine. What guarantees a successful marriage is having the same vision, your love for God, asking God for help, your determination to make it work, your um, putting yourself aside. A lot of people are so selfish in marriages these days, that's why it does not work out. You have to put your selfishness aside, okay? You have to, you have to make sacrifices for the other person. You just have to. For instance, I see people who make make it a big deal that watch the man tell his wife how she should dress or how she should look, and I'm like, I don't get it. For me, if my mother does not like what I'm wearing, I am going to change it. That's just the truth. I'm going to change it because when him choose when I don't like, he wishes to change it for me. So my husband makes a lot of changes for for me. So why should I find it hard to make changes for him? You know. All these things work like I see it's a very this video is going to be very long. Let me just end this video here now, okay? So what do you guys think about what I said? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? If you disagree with me, why? If you agree with me, why? Okay, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share, share this video with your friends, share it with your relatives, share it with your husband, okay? Share this video and also 
um, turn on the notification bell so I'll be notified every time I post a new video. You guys, I have hot hot videos I'm going to be dropping soon. No, I've been filming this week. I've been, you know, getting myself ready for next week. I took a, I took a mini break um, this week from posting and all that. So you guys, it's going to get hot in here very soon. So turn on the notification bell and subscribe if you already subscribed. All right. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Mwah.